Geographic features affect how cultures develop. Geography influences the work that people do, what they wear, how they travel, as well as many of the challenges they face. I'm here at Lock 20 along the Mohawk River Barge Canal. This river has been an important waterway for many reasons. Early inhabitants used its water for drinking, farming, and fishing. It's also been used for transportation and a source of power. In fact, rivers have played a key role in shaping societies throughout history. Let's take a look at how rivers, as well as other geographic features, influence historical developments. Early civilizations emerged in river valleys because of the many resources rivers provide. Egyptians depended on the Nile River as the Chinese depended on the Huang He. Indians settled along the Indus River and Sumerians settled in the Fertile Crescent between the Tigris and Euphrates Rivers. Rivers were used as a source of water for drinking, fishing, transportation, and irrigation. The lack of water resources has also influenced history. Russian leaders like Peter the Great saw expansion for access to warm water ports for trade. Also, in the Middle East, conflicts have arisen over strategic waterways such as the Suez Canal and the Persian Gulf. Irregular or jagged coastlines in Italy provided natural ports that invited trade during the Renaissance. Italian trade brought a great deal of money to Italy, allowing for arts to flourish there. Natural resources such as deposits of coal and iron ore prompted the development of industry in Great Britain. In addition, resources have been one of the many reasons behind imperialism and colonization. For example, the diamonds found in South Africa encouraged the British to take over. Likewise, the Spanish sought gold reserves in Latin America. Harsh weather like that found in Russia has also impacted history. Both Napoleon and Hitler were halted with the help of General Winter. Japan's island nation status has impacted its history. Much of Japan is mountainous and lacks resources. This, combined with the fact that Japan was isolated under the Tokugawa shogunate, put Japan at a disadvantage against Western powers. Once Japan modernized as a result of the Meiji Restoration, Japan embarked on a series of imperialistic endeavors, which eventually led to conflict in World War II. The Korean Peninsula acted as a land bridge between China and Japan, allowing for a great deal of cultural diffusion. China introduced Buddhism, its writing system, as well as art styles to Japan. Whenever you look at a nation's history, begin with its geography. Remember, events in history don't just happen. There are specific causes, and often those causes relate in some way to the physical landscape of the area.